Hey everybody, how's it going? So this is an interesting one. A lot of you seem very surprised on my community page that I pay for e-waste pickup. I do pay for garbage pickup. In New York City, the normal sanitation department is not going to pick up trash if you're a business. You have to pay a private carding company to do that. No problem. I pay a private carding company and I have since I've had a store for about the last eight years. Now, one thing that's strange here is that even though I pay for e-waste pickup, I got this hysterical email where they said that they are not going to pick up batteries. So they said, how many items of e-waste do we need for pickup? We need to know if it's a small amount to take on the truck or if a separate truck is needed. And we told them, and they said, we cannot take any batteries. It's a fire hazard. So please remove them from the boxes. I'll have the e-waste picked up tonight. Now, this is strange because e-waste, electronic waste, battery, electronic, This is electronic waste. There is absolutely no reason to pay for an e-waste pickup if you're not willing to pick up actual e-waste. And one thing I'm noticing is that fewer and fewer companies are actually willing to take e-waste. If uh, my old carding company just stopped taking e-waste at some point, I think IESI bought out Tiffany Carding, and then they stopped taking e-waste not a year or two into when I was using them, then Mr. T also doesn't take e-waste. It's aggravating enough that every single Friday without fail, they ref- they don't pick up the garbage. Every Saturday morning, we get to come into the store wondering if we're going to have a summons from the Department of Sanitation for a few hundred dollars for garbage left on the curb because in spite of the fact that we pay the bill and repeatedly, frequently leave voicemails and remind them, hey, you get paid to pick up garbage on Friday, pick the garbage up on Friday. They don't pick up the garbage on Friday. But now, like, I don't understand how you could say in writing, we are going to charge you for e-waste pickup We're going to, but we're not going to take your batteries. I'm going to charge you for penicillin and I'm going to give you this bottle, but it has no pills in it. I'm going to bill you $150 a month for this Verizon phone service, but you won't be able to make phone calls. (laughs) It's just, it's absolutely killing me at this point. If it's a realtor, they they advertise a space that is... 40% the size it actually is. If it's an architect for $7,000, I can't get you to make an accurate drawing so that they don't put the wall in front of an electrical panel. If you're a contractor, I can offer to pay you and you don't show up. I don't get it. People don't want to do work anymore, even if you're willing to pay them money. What am I supposed to do with these batteries? Carding companies, what am I supposed to do? Because at this point today, I called after work was done somewhere somewhere around nine different companies, and none of them will take e-waste. What am I supposed to do with it? Because at this point, I'm just about to start taking my batteries and walking right over to the Apple store and throwing them away. Because honestly, I feel like some goody two-shoes dumbass for the fact that I'm even willing to do the research to call people to figure out how to get rid of this. You know how one of the businesses a few blocks down from me gets rid of their e-waste? They wrap it up in three separate garbage bags, put it inside a a, a box, put that box inside of another garbage bag, and put it in the standard street trash. Not only is that illegal because you're throwing e-waste away in the trash, but it's also illegal because you can't put business trash in the public receptacle. The business that I worked at 10 and a half years ago before I quit to come work here used to slowly sneak out their e-waste in the biz- in the building's garbage because they were in a building that had about 12 or 14 floors. It wasn't a store, so they had a dumpster for each floor. They used to just walk around to it and just throw out a battery and then throw out a bunch of food and then throw out another battery and then throw out a bunch of food so you couldn't see it. Every time I speak to a business owner that does this, they give me that little smirk, that little smirk that just lets me know that they're thinking to themselves, you idiot, you actually pay for e-waste pickup? You mean you just don't throw it away in the regular garbage and not care? Because that's what everybody's doing. That's what everybody does. They throw it away in the regular garbage and they don't care. But what are people supposed to do if they do care? Because we're at a point where even if you do care about e-waste pickup, even if I don't want this stuff to be disposed of improperly, if I don't want harmful chemicals released back into the environment and I'm willing to give you money, you won't take it. You won't take it. So what do I do? Because what I'm going to do for the next garbage pickup at this point, once my container fills again, filled with batteries, I'm going to go to the Apple store. I'm just going to empty it right on in there. I'd Seriously, if somebody doesn't come up with a better idea, that's probably what I'll do. Maybe I'll live stream it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.